You may have seen my recent video of these large Samia Rossini moth cocoons, a domesticated moth bred for its silk production. Well, today we have the first hatched moth and it is a female. She's trying to find a good spot to inflate her wings, but one byproduct of being bred for their silk is that they have lost some of their wild qualities. This species is also known as the ear eye silk moth and they seem a bit weaker than wild moths. They move slowly and have a harder time getting around. This man-made species was bred primarily in Asia from selected moths to create the beautiful white resistant silk seen on the cocoons in order to make clothing. So you will never encounter this moth in the wild. Even the coloration of this species is unique to its breeding and it is quite attractive. Similar to lab mice, the moths have lost much of their coloration on their abdomen, which is now mostly white. Unfortunately, most of them have uneven wings. As you can see on this one, the edges are curled under and they have some malformations. It is still an attractive moth, but it would not occur in the wild, nor could this particular species survive without humans. Most of these moths have even lost their ability to fly and have only exceeded at what was important in breeding them, desire to mate, quantity of eggs, and silk quality. When kept in captivity, there's no need to fly and they simply crawl to find each other. Like all of the giant silk moths, they lack a functional mouth, so they cannot eat and only live a few days for reproduction. One upside of silk created from these moths is that they can be allowed to hatch before harvesting the cocoon for production, unlike the poor Bombyx mori silk moth, which has to be boiled in the cocoon for it to be usable. For this reason, the silk made from these moths is also known as the fabric of peace, as no moths had to be killed to create it. It is also considered a beginner species to breed. They are very easy to work with and are not fussy about their conditions. Even the larva or caterpillar is relatively disease resistant. Well, I have several more coming in the following days, so hopefully maybe we will have one with better formed wings. So stay tuned.